Thousands of patients warned they may have been put at risk were live in Burlington at a dental clinic suspected of using dirty equipment. Good evening. Letters have gone out. Letters to some 9,000 patients, past and present, telling them to contact their physicians about testing for hepatitis and HIV. CTV Sean Lee Thong is live outside the clinic in Burlington. Sean, is the clinic currently open? Well, rather, the clinic's not open right now, but we understand that they were open earlier today for uh, what we've heard that the uh, issuing of the suspension of the license of Dr. Handa, the man who runs the clinic, only ran through June 12th to the 16th. And we found a little while ago that uh, the Halton region said that they acted on a report from the Reportable Disease Department, which is what prompted the investigation. Patients who came to Upper Middle Dental today were greeted only by a closed door. I had an appointment at 3 o'clock. You had an appointment today? Yeah, I had a 3 o'clock appointment. And they could get a letter to seek testing for infectious diseases, specifically hepatitis B, C, and HIV. Uh, it's a shock, to tell you the truth. You know, I'd, I've been coming to them, I guess, for the last seven years. According to Halton Public Health, Upper Middle Dentist in Burlington failed an infection prevention and control inspection on June 9th due to improperly cleaned instruments, and the clinic was closed, and owner Vic Handa's license was suspended. Yeah, you don't want to say, you know, I'm not worried about it. Uh, but you have to be, because it makes you kind of feel weird. A re-inspection of the clinic found that they are now in compliance, and Dr. Handa's license was reinstated on June 16th. Halton Region Public Health has sent some 9,000 letters to patients past and present saying that they should talk to their doctor to discuss testing. If I get a letter from, from my dentist, yes, I will go to, to my, my phys physician and uh, find out uh, if there are any issues. According to the Acting Medical Officer of Health in Halton Region, Dr. Daniela Kepkins, the testing request comes as a precaution and improperly cleaned dental instruments carry a very low risk of transmitting infectious diseases. And just as some patients were learning of the news today, we also found out that the clinic was open earlier, but closed very abruptly. At Walker's Barbershop next door, they noticed staff leaving a little early this afternoon, and through the afternoon, patients here said they remain supportive. He's a great guy. Never had a problem with him. He's a really good guy. Dr. Vix, he's a really good guy. I like him. I've been in with him since he opened up the business. There was no mention of the issue on the company's website. According to the Royal College of Dental Surgeons of Ontario, there are currently no complaints or discipline against Dr. Handa or any of the other dentists working in the clinic. And we got a statement from the Royal College of Dental Surgeons of Ontario a little while ago saying that even though they have reinstated the license of Dr. Handa, they do continue to investigate and they will make recommendations if any further steps need to be made. Reporting live from Burlington, I'm Sean Lee Thong Zarata. I'll send it back to you.